specific. Yeah. He wasn't mixing words. That's right. That's right. He wasn't looking at anybody's face. Mm -mm. Because the situation has gone so precarious. It has gotten to a stage that we need an answer. Glory to God. Oh, come on, somebody. I, I don't know. I don't know about you. But right now in Nigeria, we need an answer. Amen. Hallelujah. If there is any time in, on the face of the earth that you need an answer, it's right now. It's because the true Christianity is tested. Oh, come on. I, I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here tonight. So Christianity is tested. So many things are smiling at our faces. So many things are staring at us and telling us, are you really serving God? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the devil is a liar. I said the devil is a liar. I said the devil is a liar. I've come to let somebody know here that we must learn how to appreciate uh -huh. the word of God yeah. Yeah, yeah. the word of God yeah. Yeah, yeah. if there is anything you should not joke with is thus say yes. Lord. Lord. Lord God. because hear me there is a difference between the written word and the spoken word that's right that's right the written word is the whole logos of the word yeah, yeah. but the spoken word is the rema yeah, yeah. the spoken word when it comes yeah. to you it is specifically for you yeah, yeah. it is specifically yeah. specifically for your time yeah. for your season yeah. for your breakthrough yeah. and for what you are going through presently yeah. uh -huh. that's why i know there is a word for somebody here yeah. i said there is a word for somebody here yeah. i said there is a word for somebody here yeah. You are not going to leave this place until you get your own word. And that word is coming to you in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody shall I receive it? Hallelujah. My goodness. Samaria was going through a time of crisis. Sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. Sit up. Sit up. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Samaria was going through a time of crisis. Yeah. That was coming in the land. Yeah. A lot of things were, were being said in the land uh, that is not possible. Come on. You can't have it. You can't do it. Yeah. You can't have a good car. <laughs> you can't have a good house. Uh -huh. You can't have a good family. You can have a good marriage. Oh, Christians are now, you know, grouped together. Yeah. Like, like, like people who 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 get married today and divorce tomorrow. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. There is no differentiation in the kingdom no more. Amen. Because we are hit with a lot of calamity and a lot of problems and a lot of situation that stares at us all the time. And guess what? We don't have any answer. Amen. It's not that there is no answer. Right. It's just that we don't have any answer. Right. And that's why the problem is because nobody is coming again with us saying. All right. All right. All right. Glory to God. Glory the answer is there. Yeah. Yes. If only you will be able to grasp what God is saying. Mm -hmm. So Elijah came and said, Look. Why are you guys shouting? Why are you guys screaming? Uh -huh. Why are you guys thinking that there is no God? Come on. And Elijah said, look, by this time tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it was literally letting us to know was that, hey, the same God who did something yesterday. Yeah. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on, are you hearing me? Yeah. Is there anybody here God has not done anything for? Oh, come on. Let me begin to show you if you think God has not done anything for you. All right, all right. That you are alive, God has done something yes. for you. Yes. Amen. That you have an air that you breathe, God has done something yes. for you. Amen. That you are sitting here right now. Hey, God has done something for you. Amen. If that is the only thing you will appreciate God for, my goodness, that is the first step that you should do. 
Is somebody getting here? To thank God that he gave you life. Yes. Isn't it so surprising that we Christians don't even know that it's a privilege that we have this life? All right. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. Amen. Oh, if you are clapping, clap to the glory of God. Amen. 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 Is somebody getting me here? Yeah, yeah. You know, because you don't understand that there is so many contamination in the air. Amen. Mm-hmm. Just one little somebody is gone yeah yeah that's yes. right that's right but here you are you are protected in day and in out yes. day in and day out ah, yeah, Amen. bible says he that keepeth israel neither sleep nor yes. suffer so right. god is actually doing an overtime on you yes. Amen. oh come on i'm still talking to somebody else Amen. he's actually doing an overtime on your children yeah he's actually doing an overtime on your family yes. yeah in Nigeria today, we have so many issues that we are dealing with that even our children are stopped from going to school. But I keep laughing and I keep telling everybody that because God has been watching over them yeah. before they vacated school, that was when the problem started. And now it is curtailed. And now they are going back to school. Don't you think that the same God is watching over them? Yes. Amen. Yes. Am I talking to somebody yes. here? Amen. The word that was used to keep them yes. what well, is the same word that we are still using to keep them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. God gave us a word in Psalm 121 verse 8. He said, I will preserve your going out uh-huh. and your coming in yes. from now and from now and forth and forevermore. Is somebody yeah. getting me here? Yeah. Hear me? That is a spoken word. Yes, sir. Amen. God spoke that word because he knows that we need preservation. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There is a word for every situation. Amen. Yeah. Come on, somebody help me here. There is a word for every situation. You need a change of status, there is a word. Yeah. You need a change of life, there is a word. Yeah. yeah. You need your destiny to be redirected. Hear me? There is a word. Yeah. You need to be focused in life. And you need to know what to do. Guess what? There is a word. Yeah. You need that child to live drugs and get off drugs and get a good focus for his life. Guess what? There is a word. Amen. Amen. Never give up on anybody because, hear me, a word has already been sent for. Amen. That's why I've come to tell somebody tonight. No matter who that person is, hear me. Don't give up on him. Amen. Don't give up on your husband. Don't Amen. give up on your wife. Don't give up on your children. Don't give up on your boss. He may be difficult in the office, but hear me. Keep speaking that word because that man will soon change. He will walk into the office one day and say, Am I giving you a raise? He's the same man who said he's not going to give you anything. Guess what? As long as you have a word for him, something is about to change. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, There is a word. Say to somebody and say, There is a word. And that's what we need to look for. That's right. The word. Amen. Bible says in the book of Mark, chapter 5, verse 24 25, they're about. The issue, the woman with the issue of blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bible calls it an issue. Yeah. Because she has lived with it for over 12 years. Yeah. And not just that, the woman is wealthy. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's right. And that's one thing that a lot of people don't understand. She's so wealthy that Bible says she spent all oh, that she yes. had. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes. Man, people must have been collecting. <laughs> I you see that's what we don't know you see when you are in a particular problem you will spend yes uh-huh. yes you will spend without thinking yes. yeah amen. yeah amen you will spend without thinking you will amen. spend without calculating guess what amen. you will even spend without budget amen 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 because you want to get out of it yeah yeah the Bible says she kept on spending, she kept on spending, she kept on spending. But the Bible says, instead of growing better, she grew worse. That's right. You know why? Because she didn't know what she needed. All right. 
Stop money will yeah. solve the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Many people think when I have this money, I have solved my problem. Hear me? Money is not your problem. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody say, man of God, how you say that? Money is not your problem. I can tell you from experience. I've traveled all over the world that I can say, but guess what? I hardly hold money to go. You know why? Because once he says go, I go. Praise God. And whatever I need, he gives. Amen. So I've learned to walk with it because why? I walk with the word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of you don't even understand what I'm saying. You don't understand what I'm saying. That's why I said I'm talking from experience. I still can even give me some weakness here. Because I have walked with God to understand that He is my Jehovah Jireh. Yeah. He always yeah. sends a cow ahead before I bring my Isaac. <laughs> Somebody, you're not, you're not thinking what I'm saying. You know what? Because I'm working with the word. Amen. I was meant to preach in California one time, and somehow I forgot my. I work with a debit card. I forgot it at home in my purse. And my wife said, "Are you with your debit card?" I said, "Yes." Immediately I did like this. The purse was not there. No, there was my purse. I was already in California. She said, "Because your purse is right here in Abuja, in Nigeria." That was how I knew how to work with God. Right. That's like six years ago. Praise God. And I began to swim because I don't go anywhere without my debit card. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. Or oh, somebody help me here? Come on, come on. Are you hearing me? Yes. Now I didn't, I didn't know what to do. Uh -huh. Because this is a place I've never been to. I've just been invited and I don't know anybody. And as a child of God, you need to know how to walk. Amen. Yeah, yeah. You don't walk like a beggar. That's right. You walk like a king. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Castle, no castle, walk like a king. Yeah. Let everybody know that the king is coming. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Is somebody getting me here? Yeah. The first breakthrough I had in that conference was immediately I landed, somebody was at the airport to pick me. This is Pastor Stacy. Welcome. Nice to have you and everything. No credit card, no money in my pocket, no pause. I didn't tell nobody. All right. That's right. Amen. They picked me, took me to my hotel, already paid for. All right. Uh -huh. The conference was for three days. Uh -huh. In that three days after uh, the conference, somebody paid again one week without telling. All right. Amen. Because they wanted me to speak. Uh -huh. How was I feeling? Everybody was inviting me. Praise God. Hey, man of God, I'm giving you the Lord. I said, no, nah, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. No, 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 no. Don't go there, don't go there. No, I don't worry. You, you know, you have to be modest, you know? I'm giving you the Lord. No, no, don't worry. No, no, no. It's my turn. You're not going to say no for an answer. I said, come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Run, sort it out. Don't worry about breakfast. That's my fasting time. Hallelujah. <laughs> you turn it around to Amen. That one started out. Uh, that was how God took me through two weeks of in, being in a state without anything. And guess what? Yeah. I came back with something. Amen. Amen. And I began to understand that if he's working for you, yeah. you don't need to fear. Amen. Because he has gone ahead of you. Yeah. I'm trying to let somebody know here that God has gone ahead of you concerning your admission. God has gone ahead of you concerning your house. That mortgage you are talking about. Hear me? God has gone. Have me talk to two people beside you and say, God has gone ahead of you. God has gone ahead of you. Come and look at somebody close to you and say, God has gone ahead. Glory to the God. Understand that there is a spoken word. Yeah. Elijah opened his mouth. Not that the word was not there, but that people refused to receive the word. Uh -huh. yeah. Hallelujah. People refuse to receive the word. Yeah. You cannot manifest what you don't first of all internalize. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you can, let me repeat it that again. You cannot manifest what you don't first of all internalize. Amen. Amen. If you don't internalize the word, yes. it will not show on the outside. Amen. Many of us say we believe, but the truth is that when we are confronted with situations, our belief is challenged. And the reason why you don't believe, quote unquote, is because you have not really internalized the word. Amen. Come on. Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. He didn't say you're not going to be weak. He didn't say you're not going to experience some symptoms. He didn't say you're not going to experience some pain. But he said, when you are experiencing that, let what comes out of your mouth be something. What you are experiencing, because when you speak against what you are experiencing, what you are experiencing will flee away. So when you are experiencing some doubt, it's time to speak some faith. When you are experiencing some lack of cash, it's time to open your mouth and say, "Mommy, come." When you are experiencing some difficulties in one area or the other, don't look at that difficult. What they are saying is that begin to speak what you want to see. Am I still talking to somebody here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In our church in Abuja, Nigeria, one of the things I talk about marriage is that divorce is not an option. So if you don't have it as an option, that means you can't go there. So what we do is to solve it. Look at somebody and say, solve it. Solve it. Are you hearing me here? Or somebody say, well, pastor, you don't understand my case is so peculiar. I know it's peculiar, but we'll solve it. Hello, yeah. because whatever made you to open your mouth and say yes, I do, <laughs> meant that there is something good about it. Yes. Hallelujah! So it's not an option. So let's work it out. Oh, it cannot be worked out. I agree, there are cases like that. But before we get to that point that it cannot be worked out, then let's use some Sephora. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what they call some? Sephora formula. Okay, I'm not teaching you that. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm trying to say here? Yes, sir. Mr. Child of God, there is time that we need to apply the word to every situation. You know, Moses was attacked because Sephora was always with him. Sephora is the wife of Moses. And Zephora, uh, Moses had to use the Sephora formula. He said, my wife, why not go stay with your dad for a little while? Let me sort out these stiff neck people, then we'll come together. Yeah. And when there was a little time of separation, he she went, understood the ministry of Moses, and understood that Moses was carrying over three million people on his shoulder to testify about what God has done for her. God